Patrol. The Sleepy Hollow fire has scorched at least two and a half square miles. Officials say that today they're going to get a better idea of what exactly has burned. We know at least 1,000 people were forced to evacuate. And Chelan County officials say at least 12 structures have burned and at least nine of them are home. So far, no reports anyone was hurt. So we want to join Adam Mertz now, who's been monitoring this situation for us all night long. Yeah, Adam, what can you tell us uh, that you're seeing right now? Well, first off, I want to tell you that in the past couple of minutes, a little bit of relief for firefighters. I'm not sure if our camera can pick it up, but it started to sprinkle out here. It is raining as firefighters continue to monitor the Sleepy Hollow fire, which is here behind me. Tough to see now. It is getting a bit hazy. A lot of that smoke is moving towards us as the wind continues to pick up. But a lot of the fires that were up there that we could see earlier are no longer visible. Much of this hillside scorched and blackened by those large flames that swept right through here. When you look up there, a lot of this is open land, but there are homes. Some of them were destroyed. Many of the people and families evacuated. Firefighters want them to get out of the path of this fire. State Patrol estimates 1,800 acres of land burned, at least 12 structures and homes destroyed, and they expect those numbers only to go up. But again, the conditions very difficult because of the fact that it's been dry, it's been hot, it's been very windy out here. But in the last couple of minutes, we are starting to feel those raindrops, which certainly will help firefighters out as they battle not just this fire, but another fire here in Wenatchee. They're dealing with a recycling plant fire that is a, basically across the way from the Sleepy Hollow fire. They really don't know whether or not these two fires are connected. But again, two separate fire, fire, fires that they're dealing with out here. And now in the last couple of minutes with some rain, uh, certainly something that will help them out. Brian, Liz. All right, sounds good, Adam. And also you can see the, how windy it is out oh, there. Yeah, certainly pick it up with Adam. All right. All right, and also at least 1,000 people have had to flee their homes. And even though people were aware of the risks here, they're still shocked at the scope of the fire. I didn't expect this at all to happen at, at all today. And we've been through plenty of forest fires, but nothing like this. And it's just... Especially since it's spread, like we evacuated to a friend's house up kind of more over towards there, and they got evacuated too within the hour. So we got evacuated twice today. And right now, excuse me, there are no reports of any serious injuries. Well, according to Chelan County Emergency Management, we know several areas are under evacuation notices right now. The most serious, these level three evacuations are in the Sleepy Hollow area, which is just northwest of Wenatchee, south of Highway 2. Also under level three, the Broadview development in the northwest part of West Wenatchee, mostly west of Western Avenue, including Sunrise Circle. And then closer to the river, the area around Bluebird Plant, that is under a level Level three evacuation notice as well. Now, level three means danger is either currently affecting your neighborhood or it is imminent and you need to leave immediately. And the Red Cross has set up a shelter for those who need it. It is now located at Eastmont High School on 3rd Street Northeast, east of Wenatchee, in East Wenatchee. At least 155 people are staying there right now. All right, so we want to check in with MJ now with more on some of the good news that the firefighters are facing right now. What's the good news, Look MJ? at this. It's raining all along Route 2 and down through Wenatchee and beyond. That is awesome news for firefighters. That'll help tamp out this fire ever so slightly. It's basically located in this area between Wenatchee and Kashmir, and that's Route 2. The problem is this afternoon we go back to high fire danger. It'll be hot. Highs in the low 90s, dry with humidity 10 to 15 percent, and we're expecting the winds to kick up even more this afternoon, gusting to about 25 miles an hour. And the next three days are going to be critical. Tomorrow and Wednesday, sunny with highs close to 100 degrees again. Just breezy, though the wind's calm down a bit, but this is not good news for firefighters. Let's hope these morning rain continues a little while longer. I'll have our local weather in just a little bit. Back to you.